Hi there, yeah, six parents and students. Um, myself and Mr. Bonsells just thought that we'd put a video clip together of ourselves talking through some of the frequently asked questions that we've had into school already. So there's lots of opportunity to do that. If there are any other questions that you want answering, then please continue to send us through to the year six transition email address. Um, but today's um, session is going to focus on um, some of the questions that we've already had through. So, like I said, my name is Paul Walker. I'm assistant head teacher. Hopefully, you're starting to to get familiar with with the rules that we have in school. Uh, and I'm Mr. Bonsells, uh, the head of Year Seven. Hopefully, you've seen my face on a few of the videos that we've been putting out. Um, and yeah, I'm saying we look forward to meeting you. So, Mr. Bonsells, what are some of the questions that we've had through then? Well, I think one of the, the common questions we've had is about uh, getting lost um, and students obviously always worry about getting lost in school and uh, they come to a new bigger place and there's lots of rooms to find um, so I think that's probably one of the most common ones we've had through isn't it? Yeah I suppose that's in, in the reality why we, that's one of the earliest videos that we've put out as well so hopefully you'll have seen the video that went out um, with, with regards to how to navigate your way around and students are provided with a map and they get lots of information about where their rooms are. Unfortunately, at times students find that, that it, it's still quite difficult to navigate. You, you come into a much bigger site than what your primary school is likely to have been. But the, the reassuring thing is that there's loads and loads of people around to help you. Nobody's going to be in trouble if they're late for a lesson or you know, if, they've, if they've not managed to find their way to where they're meant to be. Everyone's looking to support you. And probably, if we're really honest, the likelihood is you will probably get a little bit lost in your first week or so and you won't be able to find all of your classrooms. But the important thing is that you know how to um, seek some, some help, which will just be by asking people around you. Everyone who's available to help will be there and you're not going to be in trouble at all. So please don't worry about the fact that you're, you're potentially going to be late to a lesson somewhere because we know that it takes a little bit of getting used to. I think as well, teachers will be understanding in the first couple of weeks. Um, they're not going to, you know, give you sanctions for being late because they understand that, you know, you're coming to a new place and there will be the odd time where you can't find your classroom. But as Mr. Walker said, there'll be plenty of people around to help you find your way if you do get lost. And I suppose, sir, that links to the fact that you're going to be having more lessons in a day than what you previously previously had done. So one of the questions we often get asked is, is how the day looks and the structure of the day. And the, the thing for you to be aware of there is that actually the number of lessons is probably similar. So we have a five period day, you've got a five lesson day. But the big difference for you is that those lessons are taught in different classrooms. So whereas at primary school at the moment, you may well have a five um, period day and you might may well have that, that kind of um, breakdown to how your day looks. But the big difference in secondary is that you move from classroom to classroom and that's where the, what the issue about potentially getting lost um, becomes more, more prevalent, really. I think as well, you'd be taught um, with students who are in similar classes. Um, so I think you'll be all in the same place where you need to go to the same classroom. So you can kind of all follow each other a little bit um, and find your way that way. Yeah, that's an important point to make, Mr. Bonsells. Um, what, what students don't always understand is the way that the groups are structured in Year 7. Um, so you will be in a maths set and a science set. So you will be in um, ability set groups for maths and science lessons. For your other lessons, which are made up of all sorts of different subjects, like English and RE and history and geography and all sorts of different subjects, you will be in mixed ability groups. And that mixed ability group will stay the same for everything other than PE and DT, really. Um, what that means is that you get to know those students really, really well. You get to build some really good relationships within the group. And hopefully, very quickly, you'll feel comfortable in that group and you'll know the people in there. And that will be a really, really successful environment for you to be in. So that's just a change as well from primary school where you will be in different groups with different students, but we've really looked to minimise that as much as we possibly can. I, think it's also, I was going to gonna say that it's important to, uh, you know, you will be taught together um, in your classes, but there'll be time at break and lunch where you can catch up with people that you may, may already know from your primary school. Um, so that's another good way to, to make new friends, meet new people, uh, by not just sticking in your groups, but also branching out maybe... Um, attending an extracurricular activity at lunch um, and socialising at break just to widen the network of friends that you have. Yeah, that was what I was going to say to you, sir. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. The, 
the question about making new friends is something that we get asked an awful lot, isn't it? And it's a real opportunity at secondary school to do that. And it's something that we would absolutely encourage students to do. So what you were just saying there about breaks and lunch times, um, is there anything else that you would say to students about opportunities to meet new friends? Well, really, it's all about taking every opportunity that comes your way. Um, I think we put out a little bit of information on the transition page of the website about extracurricular activities. Uh, and there's so many going on at Fulford. Um, and it's a really good opportunity to meet people that are like-minded, have similar interests to you. Um, I think if I show you the, hopefully you will already see, and I'll share the screen with you about where to find it on the, the website. So there's all this here about the videos. And then if you just click to the bottom here, there's a bit about extracurricular clubs and you can follow the link to the list of clubs that were going on this year. And um, maybe have a little look at some you might fancy. As we say, it's a really good opportunity to meet people with similar interests. Yeah, it's really worthwhile showing that website and would urge parents and students to have a look at what's on the Year 6 transition page there because you'll hopefully have already seen the videos that have gone out. They're all being stored there. There's also, that's our central place for any correspondence. So the letters that have gone to parents are there um, alongside other key information and something that we've done differently this year because recognize everything has to be different is that we have was in the process of setting some tasks that we'd like yes fleet and mr bonsells has sent out some information on there so those yes six tasks are on that area of the website as well mr bonsells is it worth mentioning briefly something about those those tasks at this point just so students are familiar with what it is that we're doing yeah absolutely and um, we just we just want to facilitate a really positive and resilient attitude here at Fulford. Um, and these tasks are based on a book by Matthew Syed, who you may already know, about a, a book called um, Being Awesome. And there's just, each week I'm going to set a, a little challenge um, to develop skills uh, such as resilience, um, thinking about some of the challenges that students might face when they come to Year 7. And we just feel this would be a really good stepping stone um, to help them build some confidence uh, for when they arrive in September. I so say you can access those on the, the website as well, uh, just under the tasks tab. Um, and hopefully we can get to know a little bit more about students and we're welcoming uh, responses via the this transition email. Um, and we do really look forward to reading them. I've had a few in already and they're absolutely brilliant actually. Yeah, it's been really nice to see them coming in, hasn't it? So, um, and we really appreciate our people's taking people the time to, to engage in, in those materials as well. It's something that we, we genuinely do believe in and there's lots and lots of key messages contained within that research which is put together in that in that book which really does um i suppose encapsulate, encapsulate lots of the things that we want from our students at fulford school and the skills that we're, we're really trying to, to develop within within the young people there um maybe it's on a slightly lighter note sir we quite often get and one of the sometimes the most exciting things about coming up to secondary school is the choice of food in the canteen and that's a question we've had already a, a couple of times isn't it so you'll have seen mr bonsell's video um about what to do in the canteen and that and that's just uh, making sure that you're familiar with the routines that we have around school and there'll be more of that type of video which is uh, which are due to come out um i think it's fair to say the choice in the canteen can be a source of great excitement for students and something that at times it can take them to that, that long to, to uh, decide what it is that, that they're going to have, that we end up with a queue backed up behind them. Um, for parents, um, you will get the information about parent pay. That's the system that we use where students um, pay for their, for their meals uh, through cashless catering. So it's all done by the thumbprint, which you'll have seen in Mr. Bonsall's video. But I think it, the, the overview is that really, really there is a, a massive amount choice within the canteen everything from from fruits and cold snacks through to sausage and bacon sandwiches on a lunchtime through to, to curries and stews right back to salads and sandwiches at a lunchtime and there really is um, something that for everyone and the important point there is if you've got any specific dietary needs if you could let us know that and then Amanda who's in charge of our kitchen she does a fabulous job of making sure that everyone's um, catered for whatever dietary needs that, that, that they may have yeah, I think that's, yeah, you covered it all there. I think there's not really much to add to say. It's, as you say, it's quite a, an exciting time for students. It's one of the things they most look forward to. Okay, so um, I think that the final question that we'll, we'll look at for the purposes of this video is around what to do if students need some help or, or some support. And that can be 
all encompassing for a whole variety of, of different issues but it's probably the most important question that uh, we get asked and it's the most important thing that students know because if they reach out for us for support we can we can fix and help with anything it is that they need so what do i do if i need some help or some support as a student in yes and yes seven yeah i think you're absolutely right it's it can be quite a, a source of worry for students but to be honest i think the first port of call would be would be a form tutor and um, the, the you know this is the teacher you see every day at the start of the day for 20 minutes um, and, and they'll be a really good source of um, communication for you and somebody to ask if you are not sure if you do need some help with anything um, failing that if you do want to speak to somebody else you've always got myself um, uh, I'll be in the head of year office uh, also Miss Butterfield who is the assistant head of year um, you can meet her she introduced herself to the to everybody on the transition video um, which you can obviously see on the website as well um, so I think those three people your form tutor myself and Miss Butterfield will all be people that um, are there to help and support you if you do need a little bit of help yeah so that that's re that's really helpful and that regular daily contact with a form tutor does make that person an absolute key person in school for you as a student but also for you as parents too and there'll be opportunities as soon as we can make it happen for you to to meet the form tutor and start to build a relationship because we work incredibly hard on having positive homeschool relationships with, with parents and families and um, the, the thing that I would add to that, sir, is that beyond that level of support that you've talked about there, you have clearly you've got your class teachers as a, a level of support around the academic um, elements of things. But also we often find that students build really close relationships with their, their, their staff and their, you know, the working relationships that they build there. They get to know those students really well and students feel very comfortable in working, working with them. So it may well be that there's a particular teacher that you felt like you could reach out to. It's important that you know um, that there's some specialist support in school as well. So, you know, a large secondary school, it does mean that um, unfortunately at times there are students who need some quite specialist input and some specialist support. So beyond the staff that we've talked about here, there now, if you were to speak to one of those staff, what they might need to do is refer that issue um, to someone in school who might be able to offer some more specific advice or, or specialist support to, to students or or to their family so there's a real strong pastoral system within the school it's one of the things that we absolutely pride ourselves on and if you did have any issue or any concern please just ask just speak to a, an adult in school um, and they will know what, what to do with that. In the same instance, there may be friends that you have, or we have older students in kind of like a peer mentoring type role, that if you didn't feel comfortable speaking to an adult, that you could speak to, to a student around that. But we'll give you further details about that when you start. But the key message is that don't, if there's an issue, talk to somebody and we will we will help it that's what we're here for we will help you we will make things happen we're, we're very used to dealing with issues and helping people solve problems um, and it's a major major part of the work that goes on in school i think that's probably a, a really useful point to, to end today sir um that, that that absolute key message the other thing to say is that if you have any other questions at this point that you think myself or mr bonsels or any other staff could contribute to then then please just um contact us there's the uh, year six transition at fulford email address which has been really well used by people similarly there's lots of information on the website if all else fails just phone into school and we will um, be able to that message will get sent through to us that way um, but we just thought that this was a nice opportunity for us to be able to answer some of the questions that have been coming in and if you have any other questions then please just ask and um, we'll produce another video of this sort of nature in, in the near future Thanks very much for your time. I don't know if there's anything else for you, sir. Not for me, just uh, really looking forward to meeting all of you and keep the, the task responses coming in. Um, and we look forward to reading them. And yeah, we look forward to September when we'll see your faces for real. Yeah, thanks very much. See you later. Bye-bye.